Fight Commentary Breakdowns, I'm here with Lubo from Choke Bloat, and this is a Judo versus Karate match. Now, um, we know from other videos that um, Shintaro, besides being an awesome judoka, has trained a little bit of karate, a little bit of Muay Thai and boxing. And Sensei Seth, you know, hangs out with Wonder Boy all the time, so, you know, Sensei Seth probably knows a lot of Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu and boxing and stuff like that. So, um, yes, their styles, basis are Judo and Karate, but there's a lot of kind of MMA in both of them. So, anyways, um, Shintaro's grabbed. Oh, he let go of that grab. Which is interesting. Yeah, he let go. Um, Sensei Seth, when uh, he, he kind of four-legged then, there, mm -hmm. and... Um, it's what wrestlers do usually, or in MMA is a popular tactic where you just don't, you know, you're ready to spring up. Makes sense. And I don't think they wanted to really go grappling there uh -huh. or anything like that. I see. So I noticed that Shintaro is wearing MMA gloves, whereas um, our man Seth is wearing kind of more kickboxing, boxing gloves. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, I, think, I think that... Uh, Seth is also not aiming to hit him hard oh. or at all, if at all, because I think uh, Shintaro is not wearing a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece, I yeah, see. Yeah, they mentioned that uh, in the video, but uh, there is a nice uh, throw there. I see. Uh, using persistence on the big guy. That's right. That's right. So Shintaro is is using some angles, which is really cool he when is, he strikes. Yeah, wow. yeah he's, he's, he's very uh, aware of where they are in the, in the, on the mat, because... Yeah. Uh, he he doesn't get backed up to the wall. Yeah. Look at that. This is a beautiful, wow. beautiful move here. If you want to rewind it a little bit. Wow. Yeah. We got to replay that one. Yeah. He um, he got a hold of that arm, as you can see, and uh -huh. then the lat, the front. Oh. One. Okay. I see. We're gonna have to slow this down a little bit. Yeah. So he grabs a hold of the arm. You see how he's posting. Mm -hmm. And he he took advantage of it. He grabbed the lat, and then oh. this is the same kind of throw. It's it's. It's a sumigashi type of throw mm -hmm. uh, that we spoke about earlier mm -hmm. on a different video, and he does it. Uh, he does it beautifully. O only this side it was to the outside, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this time it was to the outside. But uh, you can see that both of them have great sense of distance. Yeah. And, and uh, Sensei Seth got a lot of good combos from a variety of levels. I've noticed yeah. that. Yeah, he's going to the body. He's going to the to. He's com com combining uh, high, low, and kicks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but uh, so the half a minute break, I guess. I suppose so. I think so. So, um, again, um, something to notice for people watching is that Seth is a little bigger in size and weight class than Shintaro, so that's always something to keep in mind. And then also Shintaro doesn't have a mouth guard. It looks like. So. Yeah, I think there's about 25, 30 pound difference in there because uh, I think they mentioned in the beginning of the video how, how much they weigh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but um, but it's uh, definitely, uh, you can tell the difference. Yeah, exactly. Seth also got a little bit of reach and height advantage too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, He's also wearing shin pads, I just noticed. He's wearing shin pads and Shintaro's not to wear yeah, shin pads. Yeah, I, I just think that he didn't bring any. Uh, <laughs> makes sense, yeah. <laughs> he didn't bring mouthpiece or shin guards, yeah. and uh, I suppose he's using their gloves too. I see. Now, in judo, I, like in jiu-jitsu, most people do wear mouthpieces, but maybe is it like in judo they don't wear mouthpieces, or just Shintaro you know, forgot I'm, to bring I, No, you know, I'm not sure. I don't mm -hmm. think they wear mouthpiece. Okay. I, I'm not sure. I see. Um, maybe they do. I mean, I would, but, mm -hmm. but maybe they don't. I don't know. Yeah. So um, we'll just slow motion watch this real quickly. Um, also, uh, Shintaro's barefoot. They so. both are. It's just that he wears mouth guard there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, he wears shin, uh, pad. shin, shin yeah. pads. Yeah. So he's they both they both they both yeah. barefoot. Look at Sensei Seth with a variety of angles, um, or a variety of strikes. Shintaro grabs the back. This is where uh, Lupo talked about. Sensei Seth kind of posts on all four, and then. Ooh, great that kick. front kick yeah. is that front kick is a great distance changer. Mm -hmm. Great, like um, uh, very good offensively and defensively. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sen, um, Shintaro doing some. Uh, this one. Yeah. yeah. The, if you watch the old Gracie's tapes uh, where they were challenging Gracie Challenge or whatever they used to call it, mm -hmm. they all of them do the, that that thing. They they raise the leg to kick forward. Uh, they use it as a feint. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go for a takedown, and then it's game over, no matter what. Yeah. Background yeah. you have. Exactly. But um, Oof. that was a nice combination. Yeah. You yeah. Can... 
but yeah, you have to respect that that leg when 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 he coils it up yeah. like that. You have to respect because if it goes to your stomach, it's Oof. painful. Oof. Yeah. Just it's in karate they call it ball kick. Ah. It's a it's a uh, front kick, teeth kick, ball kick, whatever you want to mm-hmm. call. It. I think there is a little difference in how it's executed. Makes sense. And this is one and of the this throws. Is, yeah, yeah. That, that's the first throw he did. Mm-hmm. And uh, they continue there. Yeah. And Sensei Set has a Captain America gloves. I just noticed that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See, look at look at those great combos. Yeah, this is great. He shifted forward. He 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 went left, right, left, or whatever it was—a combination. Mm-hmm. Now watch here. He grabbed. Go back one second. Yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, we're gonna slow if this you, part really if you down. Pause it right here. Yeah. See how uh, Seth is framing with that jab hand of yeah. his. He's framing to 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 keep the distance. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's pretty standard, you know. But Shintaro takes advantage of it and overcooks it. So. Yeah, exactly. Oh, use this. Right. Check this out. Use this. You can move frame by frame. Yeah, like right, frame. right there. He uses the, uh, the the his right hand to overcook it. Uh huh. And now, when he does, there is the that that frame. Uh, so Seth is framing on Shintaro's shoulder. Yeah. To maintain the distance and maybe rain some punches with the right hand, whatever yeah. the case. Being the taller person, it's a very smart strategy. Mm-hmm. I don't know how smart it is against the judoka because um, he just overhooked it and he took advantage of it, as you can see right yeah. now. He's just right gonna, there. There you go, two on one. Mm. Then went for the lat, and now as you can see, he's gonna just slide underneath and use his right leg, that white leg pant. Mm-hmm. Is gonna go behind the knee, uh, of, uh. and he's gonna uh, sweep him to his own right. So he's gonna use that hand on the lat mm-hmm. to actually pull him over his own body uh, watch, watch it slowly now there you go and right and then he comes up on top beautifully executed wow yeah um i think something something we'll go back a little bit um i like that this some um, frame by frame thing this yeah as well that's pretty cool yeah it usually works better but so something that um, Lubo mentioned that I really want to emphasize. Look at him grab the lat here. So that's the so the the takedown. You can't get it unless you grab the lat. You can you can grab on the belt also. On the belt. Now I don't know if that's legal in judo. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I'm not sure that grabbing the belt over the the shoulder is legal in judo. I know it's legal in sambo. Uh huh. And they have the same throw. They just call it differently. But uh. Uh, I don't know that it's legal in judo. I'm not sure in jujitsu it is legal to grab the belt. Uh-huh. Um, again, I'm I'm not an authority on judo, but I know that uh, I, I read it somewhere before that it might be legal. But in any case, you could grab the belt or you could grab the lat. There is no right now. He's he's going uh, nogi style, so mm. he's grabbing the arm and then he's grabbing the lat, uh, and he's going into the, uh, the, the sliding underneath. And then using his left leg as a as a uh, to to push off of ah his, right there his own left foot and then yeah. his right leg is gonna go behind his knee I see and uses an elevator I right. see right here right here so he's killed the post for Seth uh. that that arm that he's trapping is a post so the only one that he has now as a post the only uh, part of his body limb as a post is his left it's leg the left yeah, leg yeah correct he's posting right on it but he but. Shintaro is gonna go over the head and shoulders, so oh, and so that post becomes irrelevant. The I other side, see. So right here, this is where the elevator. The, yeah, and yeah. then and this then this is the post. Relevant. This post becomes irrelevant because he's gonna actually roll him over his shoulder. And he's pushing from from this the left. Length. From the left, yes. I see. There and you then, go. boom! I see. Right there. And then. So yeah, Seth, look at look at look at um. So Shintaro's. look at the way he stays connected to you. Yeah. Like if he lets go right now it's going to be a race of who comes up on top first uh, but he stays connected to him and he uses the momentum to all the way here I to see. come up on top wow and that's and he's still connected to his upper body yes you notice. yes wow and that is how a judoka throws a bigger guy yep wow it's, it's uh i don't know if it's uh i don't know if he would use that on a cement Mm-hmm. But uh, it's it's a safe throw, even though it's called sacrifice throw. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty safe throw if you if you're good at it, of course. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's a very, very uh, popular sweep in jiu-jitsu, uh, just executed from sitting position rather than standing. It's a, oh. it's a butterfly sweep, sumigayashi, uh, you know, it's a variation of it anyway. Cool. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns with Lubo from Choka Bloke, man. Go follow Lubo from Choka Bloke and also um, Sensei Seth and Shintaro. Go follow them. We will have links.